install peripherals. So this is a big deal here. This is where you're going to tell what you have connected. So you have the ability to connect a fan one, which we have running right now. You have a fan two. So you can switch into here and tell it that you have either an air conditioner connected, a fan two, which is just a, an additional exhaust fan, or that you don't have anything installed. So we'll go ahead and say fan two. Then you have your heater. So currently we do not have a heater, but it's very easy if you add one, you just go to install and you hit save and now it knows that we have a heater. You have your CO2 sensor. Since the environment sensor comes with a CO2 sensor, we always want to leave that on installed. The CO2 injector, currently we're not injecting CO2 in this room, so I have that set at none. You always want to make sure that the unit, you don't say that it has something installed that it doesn't because the unit will try to use it. So if I had told it that it had an injector attached and I don't, it'll try to inject CO2 and it'll create failures. If it, if it can't actually raise the CO2, it'll start setting off alarms saying that your CO2 injector doesn't work. So it's really important not to not tell it that you have something installed that you don't. Uh, we don't do a CO2 extraction. Dehumidifiers, once again, if you want to add a dehumidifier, it's that easy. And the unit will automatically give you different uh, options. So we'll just go ahead and do none. And then humidifiers or foggers, light bank one, light bank two. If you have an outside temperature sensor, which is a really nice feature, especially if you're in a really warm area. So the unit will judge the outside temperature. And if it's above what you want your temperature to be in your grow room, it'll automatically turn off your intake fans and switch over to an air conditioner so that we don't bring hot air into a room that we're trying to cool down. There's also a second environment sensor. So if your room is bigger than about a 12 by 12 or a 15 by 15, we do recommend a second environment sensor that you put at each end of the room so that all of the decisions are made on an average, not just the middle of the room. And then we do have an intruder alarm. It's basically a magnetic door alarm that you can attach to the unit so that you will you can be let aware of anybody who's coming or going into the room. Um, also good to know if you are off-site and you're monitoring the room and you have workers, you can know when they're there and when they're not there. Um, and if you are not, if you don't have a dehumidifier attached, which we do not have currently, you have a couple of options. So purging just means that they're gonna turn on the exhaust fans. If the humidity gets too high, it's gonna turn on the exhaust fans and blow all of that humidity out. You also have an air conditioner. So if you don't have a dehumidifier, but you have an air conditioner, it also works the same way. So it'll dehumidify for you. Or you can just say none. If humidity is not an issue for you and you don't really want it to try and control it, just hit none. So we're gonna say purge here. And then if you have air cool lights, it's important to tell the unit that you do so that the, the unit knows that the lights will cool themselves down through the fans, which we do have that. And then we're back to the fan one. 